Well, they're doing it against the family as well, creating some idea as men and women, husbands and wives, grandparents, sit around. I mean, there I am with my mom, my dad, the kids, the family. And we've eaten dinner and we're watching the second half of the Super Bowl. And I'm pointing out propaganda and all this occultic garbage. And it's just attacking us. The... It's attacking the human unit that it knows it's trying to suck in. I mean, my grandmothers knew that the world didn't care about their families and that family came first and that it was an operation where people built each other up. And my grandfathers would do anything for their wives and they'd do anything for their husbands and they were on a team and they were cool. And they had their act together. They wanted their sons and daughters to be strong. They wanted them to be successful and honorable. I mean, I look at women today compared to my grandmothers, they're a joke. They're a joke on average. I have one grandmother still alive at 90 years old. But just smart, tough as nails, sweet at the same time, very feminine, but very strong, and, 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 and not screwed up, realizing that they were there to hold a family together. And now, the average woman thinks she's on some football team against men when men are out of the game, brainwashed, brain damaged, totally destroyed, arrested development, gone. You watch any of these shows, the, the, the idiot guy gets the girls, which isn't how the world works, and the dad's always a moron and lazy. We all laugh at that and think it's funny, and they start out with images that are adorable, like an Archie Bunker, and by the time they're done with it, it's married with children, and then now the dads, every show, are a complete joke, a complete fool. And mom runs the show. And mom does what the state says. Gloria Steinem, in her book, admitted, and it was declassified, that Miss Magazine was started by the CIA to break up families. And to make women feel guilty if they wanted to raise the children and run the house. That's the cave. That's the base. That's everything. That is what you're going to work to get money to fund. And now they're reversing it, saying dads need to come in and help with the kids more, and mom's going to be the executive. And in most cases now, 65% of college graduates are women. Most of the low-level and mid-level executive jobs are now going to women by design. And then they go out, and they all have artist boyfriends who are going to make it someday, baby, never buy them anything, never take care of them. And the woman sits there and treats them like a little boy. Even if they have a kid, he's, he's, he's the little boy. And she gives him the money, and just like I saw growing up in the black communities when I'd go over to uh, my black friends' houses in nice neighborhoods, but also in the projects. Football, baseball, you name it. And I just remember, like, you never saw a dad around, and sometimes dad would show up from work. He, you know, he'd usually live with his mom down the street, and then he would come and, and give part of his money to the mama who was the boss. And that's if he even worked or wasn't in prison. And now that's the model. And you see these totally unfulfilled women freaked out. By the time they get about 40, they start looking for a real man. And let me tell you, there are many of them. You've been biologically robbed. I hope you enjoy it. Because it's only the beginning. They robbed you everything you could have been, everything you would have been. Women are what empowers men and what empowers civilizations. And you take women out, you take down the civilization. Women are the heart, the beating heart of humanity. And look what's been done to them. Oh, we got a good, we got some free Obamacare for you. It's always a free ride, isn't it? Think you got that free ride? Think you got some free uh, vaccines, got some free birth control at Planned Parenthood? Before you take those uh, subdermal time-release drugs, you need to look into what they really do to you. I'm not even going to tell you what they do to you. Go look it up. Just find out you're not getting a free ride.
just like the black community signed on to the great society and liberalism, and it's more than quadrupled illegitimacy, cut the jobless rate, it's expanded, it's doubled. Total breakdown. You think that was all just a little accident? This is a scientific plan. Oh, don't worry, they're rewriting the rules. The end of humanity is here. Could humans come together, realize the divide, realize the manipulation? I don't know. It's too fun to hear the epic music of the bad boys that want to suppress the little girls. Creating guilt in them so they'll do what they're told by the women who are the policemen of the state. The social engineers. I mean, it's a fact. I've read Bernays books. I've read the white papers. I've made films on it. The film Endgame. This is what's going on. That's what the media always says. Don't tell your kids what to believe. Don't tell them what to think. Don't. What? But but the media is. The Super Bowl ads are. The public school is going to teach a six-year-old how to how to fist. Sorry to use a term like that. But that's what they teach them in public school. How to masturbate. But see, oh, don't, don't. No, 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 you let the system program your kids. You don't say anything to them. Think about how creepy this is. Let's go to the next one, all emotional. Here's the Nissan ad with dad. See, dad's not home enough during this one minute, 30 second ad. Dad's bad, dad's bad, but it doesn't matter. He still gets a car, that makes it okay. It's all about guilt, dad's guilty, but he takes his son, and basically he's about to be 16. He's going to give him that car. It's all unseb, you can tell. It's all right. He gives him a car. It makes it all right. Very sophisticated ads. Because, again, it's not enough that men are out there busting their butt, working so hard. You know why companies want men? You know why men sailed the ships and did all that? Because when men start dying, men can continue operating. Men's brains are designed that way. And will stay on task. Women are designed to be able to take care of children and to process things and to try to have a happy society. But they're ending that whole world. And so they have to even attack men for going out and sacrificing and working so hard and staying at those jobs. They call it a glass ceiling because statistically women are paid 20% less than men. It's because women generally want to quit and have children and it's because women want to take more vacation. And statistically, women don't want to stay as late. And I don't blame them. It's men that are meant to go out and not sleep for three days, chasing down mastodons to run them over the side of a cliff to haul back enough dried meat that everybody survives to the winter. I mean, do you understand the journey that men and women have been through on this planet? everything we did working together to survive, and then they claim it's all about men suppressing women and all about this great oppression. When, when women love their sons and their daughters and fathers love their sons and daughters, in every culture, men were more valued on the surface because they stayed part of your clan or your group, and you loved them so much you didn't want to lose them but if you had a daughter, they would then go join another group and leave you. And why did every society have that system? Because it's the only one that worked, ladies and gentlemen, and the establishment is destroying it, and notice society's falling apart. You are watching the best of The Alex Jones Show, weekdays from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Central. Watch live at InfoWars.com forward slash show or become a member of InfoWarsNews.com and help us take resistance to the next level.